Hey folks, here we're going to graph linear non-proportional relationships using your slope and y-intercept. So there's our common core strand for our most awesome teachers. And our question is, how can we graph a line using the slope and y-intercept? Okay, remember the, um, the line that's y equals mx plus b is called slope-intercept form of the equation. Okay, so to graph that first point, we graph the b number first, so it's 0, comma b, that's your y-intercept where it crosses the y-axis, and then use your slope, which is rise over run, to find another point. So here's an example. Okay, so the y-intercept is at negative 1, so we're going to graph 0, negative 1. So I'm going to go ahead and put a point right there. Okay, and then we'll use our slope. Our slope is rise over run. In this case, it's 2 thirds. So that means we'll go up 2 to the right 3. Okay, so rise over run is up 2 to the right 3. I'll plot another point right there. It looks like that's at 3, 1 right there. Okay, so if we do that and then connect those points up with a straight line and, and we're done. Okay, this lesson's pretty fast. Okay, let's do that with this one. Let's graph 3. Now, careful, this graph is going by 2. So, okay, so here's 2, here's 4, here's 6, here's 8. So to graph 0, 3 is going to be right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph 0, comma 3 right there. And then we'll use our slope. Our slope is negative 5 halves. Now, the negative means we can put it in the top. So go down 5 to the right 2, or put the negative in the bottom, and so that means go up 5 to the left 2. Well, I'll do both of them. Let's go down 5. So here's down 3, so here would be down 5 right here, and then to the uh, right 2, so that would be at uh, 2, negative 2. Okay, remember, these are going by 2s. And if we go, <clears throat> excuse me, up 5 to the left 2, so here's up 1, here's up 3, here's up 5 to the left 2, that would be right there, so that's going to be at negative 2, positive 8. So if we did that, we get those two points and then connect them up with a straight line, and, and there you go. Okay? All right. Let's uh, Now notice, you guys, positive slopes always go from the, they rise from the left to the right. They go in this direction. A negative slope always falls. It goes down from left to right in that direction. Okay, so uh, they might ask you which one has a positive or negative slope on there. Okay, so let's graph these. I'm going to graph those intercepts first, okay? So the 1 and the 4. All right, let's do the slope now. I'll do, I'll do them separately. So I'll do this, rise over run. So up 1 over 2. So here we go. I'm going to go up 1 over 2 and put another point. That's at 2, 2. And then if we connect those guys up, there it is. Okay, this, this slope is negative 3, or negative 3 over 1, which just means go down 3 to the right 1. Okay, down 3 to the right 1. I can keep doing that, you guys. I can go down 3 to the right 1, and we, it'll just land on the same line. Watch if I went down 3 more. 1, 2, 3 to the right 1. It would be that point right there. Down 3 to the right 1 would be that point. They're all on the same line. Okay, so Kate has a weekly goal of burning 2,400 calories by taking brisk walks. So the equation y equals negative 300x plus 2,400, there's y equals mx plus b, represents the number of calories, uh, which is y, that Kate has left to burn after x hours of walking, <clears throat> which burns 300 calories per hour. That's what this is. That's that burn. So we're losing 300 calories each hour. So they give you a graph right here. Here it is. Let's go ahead and graph that. So I'm going to plot the 2400 first right there. And then we'll use that slope. That slope is negative 300 over 1. Well, that's kind of hard to graph, you guys. I mean, we can do that on this graph. You just got to recognize that here's negative 300 over 1. I'm going to I'm going to multiply it by 2 over 2 to get negative 600 over 2, or, or multiply this number by 3 over 3. It gets us just a more accurate graph. Three to, uh, negative 300 times 3, and then 1 times 3, so we're just multiplying it by 1. So I'm going to graph negative 900 over 3. So down 900 over 3. So here's 300, 600, down 900 over 3 right there. Okay, so here we go. Just got to make sure you know what your graph is doing. Connect them up right there. 
Okay, and then so there it is right there. Now, let's answer these questions. So how many hours of walking will Kate have burned 600 calories to le uh, left? Okay, so here's calories right here. So what we've got to do is um, uh, after how many hours, so if we just go over to our graph right there, after how many hours, it's going to be after six hours, she'll have those 600 calories left. So if we just go over and down, uh, when will Kate reach her goal? Well, she'll reach her goal when she has zero cal calories left to burn, which is over here. Here's the calories here. So when will these calories be zero? After eight hours right there, okay? So she'll reach her goal when no calories left is zero. And then so that's after eight hours, okay. So what if Kate decides to modify her plan and slowing her speed down uh, what she walks? And her new equation is y equals negative 200x plus 2400. Okay, so she still has the same starting point of 2400 calories, but it's still Kate. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph that. So there's that 2400. Now we'll go down 200 over 1, okay, which is the same as down 600 over 3. So there's, look, there's down 600 over 3. So 300, 600 over 3. I'll do it again. Down 600, which is two squares down over 3. It'll land on the same line. Down 600, two squares over 3. So if we just keep doing that, down two, or 600 over 3, two squares over 3 squares, and graph that line right there. Okay, so we've done that. How does that graph of the new equation compare to the graph of the last equation? Okay, so let's get those two equations together right there. Well, notice they both start at 2400, so they both have the same y-intercepts. This one's just going down faster because she wants to burn 300 calories uh, per hour, and this one's going down slower, which is the slope, you guys. It's going down 200 right there. So the new graph has the same y-intercepts, but the slope is negative 200 instead of negative 300. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and take care.